You know, I've been doing this type of work for quite a few years now. When I first started, I remember my foreman telling me that any job was easy as long as he had the right tool for the job. And for a long time, I thought he was right. But after a few years on the job, I realized that he was only half right. You see, what I realized is that it takes more than just using the right tool. What it really takes is using the right tool right. No matter how great the tool, if you don't use it the right way, it's not going to do you much good. And in some cases, it can be downright dangerous. That's particularly true when you're using powder-actuated tools like these. You see, these tools are driven by gunpowder, and they pack a high amount of energy. Because of that, it only takes one incorrect use of these tools to lead to serious injury or even death. On the other hand, when they're used correctly, powder-actuated tools can be the perfect tool for the job. So what exactly does that mean? Well, most importantly, it means using the tool safely. Let's face it, a powder-actuated tool is similar to a firearm. And like a firearm, it has to be treated with the utmost care and respect. Because safety is so important, OSHA mandates that anyone operating these tools be certified in their proper use. As a part of this certification program, Ramset Redhead has put this videotape together for you. Make sure that you and anyone else who will be operating powder actuated tools use this tape and gets trained and certified in the operation of these tools. Ramset Redhead also has an operator's manual available for every tool that it manufactures. Make it a point to thoroughly review the manual for any powder actuated tool that you'll be using. While Ramset Redhead hopes this tape will help you to operate powder actuated tools more safely, the information presented here is not a substitute for all the information covered in the training program and operator's manual. Getting certified in the proper use of these tools and reviewing the operator's manual is not only in your best interests, it's mandatory before operating these tools. A must, not an option. What we will cover in this videotape are a few important safety issues that you have to consider when using powder actuated tools. We'll focus on safety in three main areas. One, safety issues that must be attended to before operating the tool. Two, safety issues that must be attended to while operating the tool. And three, safety issues that must be attended to when the tool is not operating properly. Let's take a look at the first area. Safety issues that must be attended to before operating the tool. There are three items to think about here. Always use eye and hearing protection. Never put your hand in front of a muzzle bushing. And perform a function test prior to each day's use. The first of these items should be obvious. Always use eye and hearing protection. Make it a habit to use proper eye and hearing protection before you even pick up the tool for use. That goes for any necessary bystanders, too. Prolonged use of the tool without hearing protection may lead to permanent hearing loss. And as far as your eyes go, it only takes one unprotected instance for permanent eye injury to occur. The second item in this area applies to the muzzle bushing located right here. Never put your hand or finger in front of the muzzle bushing. In the event of an accidental discharge, the tool's piston could shoot out and injure you. Even worse, you could be injured by an accidentally fired fastener. To ensure that the tool is in good working order and is safe for operation, function test it prior to each day's use. This ensures that the cocking slide and firing mechanism are working properly. When function testing your tool, make sure there's no load or fastener in it. Then to perform the test, simply compress the tool against the work surface, pull the trigger, and release. Now let's take a look at the next area to consider when using powder actuated tools. 
safety issues that must be attended to when operating the tool. There are five points that we'll cover here. Verify the fastening suitability of the base material that you'll be firing into and consider how you'll fire the tool. Point the tool in a safe direction. Insert the fastener, then the load. Never leave a loaded tool unattended. And when storing the tool, make sure that it's unloaded, then store it and the powder loads under lock and key. To begin with, make sure that the composition of the base material you're working with is appropriate for powder actuated tools. In other words, make sure that you know what you're shooting into. Familiarity with the composition of base materials and their surfaces is important, not only because it affects the quality and holding power of the fastener, but also because it can keep fastener ricochets and material fragments from flying free and injuring you very seriously. Generally speaking, appropriate base materials are concrete and structural steel. If you aren't sure of the suitability of the particular base material, don't guess. Instead, perform a center punch test before firing into it. Use safety glasses before performing this test. To perform a center punch test, tap a fastener against the base material with a hammer using regular force. If the base material breaks or shatters during the center punch test, then it's too brittle. If the fastener penetrates the base material more easily than normal, then the material is too soft. And if the point of the fastener is blunted, then the base material is too hard. If the composition of the base material is suitable for powder actuated fasteners, then the fastener should leave a small impression in the base material. If the base material responds to the center punch test in any other way, then don't use the powder actuated tool for that material. In addition to the composition of the base material, it's also important to consider just how you'll fire the tool into it. With this in mind, always fire the tool straight onto the work surface. Never fire into welded areas, holes, too close to an edge, or into spalled areas. Firing into one of these types of fastening points can cause the fastener or part of the base material to ricochet or fly free. In the event some material does fly free, the spall guard that's supplied with the tool can help keep you from being injured by the debris. Use this guard at every opportunity. No matter what the base material, whether you're using the tool or not, always point it in a safe direction. In the event the tool is loaded, you'll keep from injuring yourself or a bystander if it should discharge. Speaking of a loaded tool, let's take a quick look at the safe way to load the tool. It all boils down to this. Make sure to insert the fastener before the powder load. This can prevent unintended discharges. Some tool models differ in this procedure, so refer to the tool operating manual for your specific tool to verify the loading procedure. Unintended discharges can also occur by leaving a loaded tool lying around unattended. Never leave it this way. Someone may pick it up, not knowing that it's loaded, and accidentally discharge the tool, causing serious injury or even death. In fact, if you won't be using the tool for any length of time, then clean it and store it away. Again, make sure that it's stored unloaded under lock and key. That brings us to the last area to consider when using powder actuated tools, operating problems. There are two points that we'll cover here. If a tool does not fire, follow the misfire procedures covered in the operator's manual. And if a tool has a live load and is broken or stuck or jammed, never attempt to unload or disassemble it. Operating problems may vary with the tool, but no matter what the tool, these two potential operating problems deserve special attention. If the tool does not fire when you attempt to use it, continue holding the depressed tool against the work surface for at least 30 seconds. This will protect the operator and bystanders from injury in the event of a delayed discharge. After that, 
pull the tool away from the work surface and carefully remove the powder load from the tool. Never carelessly discard unfired powder loads. Always dispose of them safely. If the tool is broken, stuck, or jammed, never attempt to unload or disassemble it if it still contains a powder load. A jammed tool may fire unintentionally, so keep it pointed away from yourself and others. Immediately store it away in a locked container and tag it defective. Do not use. This will keep others from attempting to use it. Call an ITW Ramset Redhead authorized powder distributor representative to repair the tool and don't attempt to use it until it's been repaired. So there you have it. The safe use of powder actuated tools in three different areas. Before operating the tool, while operating the tool, and when the tool is not operating properly. Just to be sure that you got all that, let's do a quick review of the points that have been covered. In the area on safety issues that must be attended to before operating the tool, we covered these three points. Always use eye and hearing protection. Never put your hand in front of a muzzle bushing. And perform a function test prior to each day's use. In the area on safety issues that must be attended to while operating the tool, we covered these five points. Verify the fastening suitability of the base material that you'll be firing into and consider how you'll fire the tool. Point the tool in a safe direction. Insert the fastener, then the load. Never leave a loaded tool unattended. And when storing the tool, make sure that it's unloaded and store it and the powder loads under lock and key. In the area on safety issues that must be attended to when the tool is not operating properly, we covered these two points. If a tool does not fire, follow the misfire procedures covered in the operator's manual. And if the tool has a live load and is broken, stuck, or jammed, never attempt to unload or disassemble it. Instead, call your authorized Ramset Redhead distributor well, that's it, but don't stop here. This video is only a review of some of the more important safety issues that you must attend to when using powder actuated tools. You and your coworkers have still got the certification program and the operator's manual ahead of you. Use them both to educate yourself on the safe use of powder actuated tools. Ramset Redhead is concerned about your safety and the safety of those around you. So please take the time to learn how to use these tools properly. Not only will you help protect yourself and others from serious harm, but you'll learn how to get the most out of these tools because they are the right tools for the job when you use them right. <laughs>